What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. I've got a special one that finally hit the shelves in northern Michigan. We're late to the game, but here I am. It's Bells. It's the Hazy Hearted. Now, why didn't Bells drop this beer years ago when the haze craze was at its peak? I don't know because this would have been a great option. That was under Larry Bell at the time. Of course, Bells has been bought out by a larger company that's otherwise bought out uh, who is it? New Belgium, I believe. So they're part of that as well. So these guys are getting really big. Hazy Hearted, I think, is called for, but I do think they're slightly late to the game. This could have been produced sooner. Um, it'll still sell, man. Two Hearted still is one of the best craft beers nationally and rated number one over and over and over again. It continues to be in that realm. Hazy Hearted is going to take the place of Official, I'm told. I don't know, a lot of people like Official, but I thought that one of the reps did say that this very well might take its place. I don't know. This is also 0.5% uh, higher in alcohol content. It's 7.5% compared to 7%, which has been the staple Two Hearted, guys. Um, Two Hearted is known for their Centennial Hops. Very, very pungent in the Centennial category. I don't know what's in this one. I tried to read around. I didn't see on the packaging. Um, they have a cool quote on there about haze, but nothing else. So this is super fresh, though. This is 1228. 22 and today's 1 5 time of recording so i am going to try to drop this tonight because i've been trying to review this one for about two weeks now finally got it today so um let's crack into this baby i'm actually really excited um too hearted i've never been crazy obsessed with i do love a good fresh too hearted I, I don't drink them all the time so this is also coming in line price it should be 10.99 for a six pack for you guys just to know that so as we pour it is indeed hazy as it should be, hazier than our typical official. And that golden, beautiful yellow in the light, guys. A little bit of orange, dark copper in, in my uh, viewpoint, but it looks, that's how it looks. It looks proper on, on camera. And of course, poor Michigan beer, baby. You should remember that. And you got this beautiful white fluffy head sitting on top. Uh, moderate carbonation, not too much action though. Actually, I don't see um, a staggering amount of carbonation, but that looks the part, guys. It's playing the part. Everything you wanna see so far, let's go to an aroma. Ooh. Juicy, voluptuous grapefruit. <laughs> That's what comes to mind. So there, there most likely is going to be some sort of centennial in here. I don't know 100%, but I do get small vibes of that. Maybe a little dank, um, how could I say this? Tropical fruit, I guess. But there is some slight dankies in there. I don't know if there's a ton of floral though. Maybe a small kiss of earthy floral. I, I, I don't know. It, it definitely doesn't smell the same as Two Hearted. Um, quite a bit different. It's 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 more aromatic. It's more pungent on the nostrils. Again, it's kind of like mangoey, pineapple, overripe juiciness. But I do get a lot of grapefruit, like juicy grapefruit as well. Maybe a little lemon tangerine mixture. It smells pretty good, man. I mean, small maltiness to it. Let's check it out. It's the Hazy Hearted IPA. I've been waiting. Cheers. Lemon, tangerine, and grapefruit predominantly. And actually, grapefruit and lemon I get a lot of. I will say that it, it's quite dry on the back end. I do like that. There's a nice juicy factor that it kind of intertwines with, which would be like citrus. And then definitely juicy citrus, like juicy citrus and tropical notes most predominantly. So I do think that that's interwoven together pretty well. And then you do have a little bit of sweetness in the beginning, juicy quality, and then it blends into like slight bittering and dryness on the back end. Now, is that perfectly dry floral? I don't say, I don't think so. So this isn't just a recipe based on two hearted, if you will, with, with more haze. It is, there's something else. There's, there's different hops in here. There is, there is quite a bit of grapefruit and floral in here though. So Centennial is most likely used heavily in here. And I will say it's a dank kind of like almost uh, lemon and, and cantaloupe mango on the back end. Like it's got some of that going on. There is a slight dank quality. 
Again, floral does play a role, and then a nice bittering dryness on the back end. It's pretty good, man. Is it like mind blowing? I, I wouldn't say so, but it's very good. Grapefruit rind, lemon rind. Uh, juicy cantaloupe, juicy mango. I could say even dry mango and dry pineapple as well. It, it's just, it's kind of coming from both ends of the spectrum into one. So it kind of meets that maltiness in the middle. And you have that citrus and that tropical fruit and it comes together with a malty smoothness through the middle and then you are left with like a bittering um, dryness and again that floral kind of does flex a little bit on the uh, middle to back end kind of finishing the beer off it's very good it's very good i i like it it's super solid uh, it, it has more body than official it's got seven and a half percent which is nothing to sniff at quite a bit and it's very ideal and drinkable in that range. So super solid from Bells. Again, a lot of grapefruit, a lot of lemon for me. I think I get that a ton. Uh, it's good, man. It's just good. I, I, I don't think I want to go goo goo gaga over this, but it's super tasty. It'll sell. It's got the hearted name in it. They've been experimenting with different beers. This one's good. I put it on the shelf, sell it 10.99 all day long, six packs, uh, bomb, bomb stuff. Slightly dank, it's good. Quite hoppy too, it is quite hoppy. Um, the dankness gets pushed to the side and then you're hit with that floral bittering. Um, juicy tropical, it, it, it's all there, it's all there. It's, it's super tasty. Um, how do I wanna rate this? Again, I'm not like, incredibly wild, but it's still very good and I like that it's drinkable at seven and a half and I like that it's not just overly sweet. So I guess let's put this bad boy at a four, one, five out of five, guys. That's where I sit today. I think it's solid for the shelves. Uh, it's the new chapter for Bells. Let's see what they're working with. Let's see how it sells. I think it'll do well. I'm Dan, thanks for being here. It's been another review, guys. I'm over and out. Cheers.